God is still God today. So in those unexpected times, when storm winds are, are blowing in your life, and you feel like giving up and going back, you can keep on walking by faith if you can just believe that God is God. In those unexpected times, when it feels as though you are traveling a dark and lonely road and it seems like you're never going to reach your destination, remember that you are never alone because God is God. In those unexpected times, when circumstances and challenges crush your spirit and your problems seem to press you down, just remember that someday, someday your test is going to be your testimony because God is God. You know, according to Isaiah 43 and 18, God not only challenged us, he also promised each of us when he spoke through his prophet, he said, do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. You see, the enemy wants you to believe that you're going to be lost forever without direction without purpose. But God sent me today to tell you that you're just being prepared to walk out of darkness and into the light of your destiny because God is God. The enemy wants you to believe that the failures of your past determine the possibilities of your present and that nothing is ever going to get any better. But God speaks to his word. In 2 Corinthians 5 and 17, it says, If any man be in Christ Jesus, he is a new creation. All things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. So God told me to tell you that he is able to do a new and greater thing in your life that nobody ever expected because God is God. The enemy wants you to believe that you're never going to laugh you're never going to love again. That your dreams have dried up like a raisin in the sun. He wants you to believe that you're going to always dwell in a dry and dusty land. But I tell you, today I can hear the sound of an abundance of rain. I hear a righteous rain that is able to redeem and restore and revive because God is God. Why I like 1 Corinthians 2 and 9 that says, no, I has, no one has ever seen, no one has ever heard, no one has ever imagined what God has prepared for those that love him. The devil wants you to believe that it's never going to happen, but the word of God says you got to believe that it's already done. The enemy wants you to believe that the best is behind you. But when I read the word of God, it tells me that the best is ahead of you because God is God. 